Uh, thank you, Mr. President, my distinguished colleagues. My name is Yusuf Aubakar Yusuf. I represent Parada Central. Actually, it is a tea producing state of this country. Uh, this is the lead debate on a bill for an act to provide for the establishment of National Tea and Coffee Development Council to develop tea and coffee, growth, production and marketing and other matters connected therewith. Mr. President, sir, distinguished colleagues, I feel highly honored to lead the debate on the general principles of the bill for an act for the establishment of National Tea and Coffee Development Council to develop tea and coffee growth production and marketing in Nigeria and other matters connected therewith. Mr. President, sir, this bill was first read in this chamber uh, in November 2019, and its speedy passage will enhance a rapid economy diversification of the agricultural sector, enhance revenue to government and its related impact on the improvement of life of our people in the affected state, both socially and economically. There is no doubt that the passage of this bill will improve the performance and growth of the nation's economy, reduce the overdependence on oil export annuals, so as to further exploit the country's vast agricultural potential. Mr. President, sir, distinguished colleagues, some parts of the country are favorably endowed with suitable climate and soil conditions that could be harnessed for commercial cultivation of coffee, while states like Taraba, Plateau, and Cross River in the south are favorably endowed with the suitable climate and soil conditions that could be harnessed for the commercial cultivation of tea, especially around the Mambila, Jos Plateau, and Obudu Ranch. Mr. President, sir, distinguished colleagues, it is regrettable that governments have not made any major impact in terms of active involvement and or participating in tea and coffee growth, production and marketing sectors of the economy. The only government presence in the development of tea production could be placed in the mid-70s when government entered into joint venture with some state governments and private entrepreneurs to set up a tea farm and factory in Taraba State. It is also instructive to observe that the new development uh, company limited, new Nigeria development company limited, and the Adama State Government have since sold their equity shareholding in the above mentioned tea company and the only government presence in the coffee development is the establishment of the Coffee Research Institute of Nigeria with its headquarters in Ibadan, Oyo State with its branches spread across the country. Mr. President, sir, distinguished colleagues, the East African country of Kenya has for a long time been generating considerably foreign exchange earnings and has become preeminent in the Committee of Nations owing to its aggressive expansion of that country's vast growing potential, which opportunities the areas around Kenya readily provide for Kenyan tea farmers. Nigeria could draw instructive and beneficial lessons from the Kenyan experience. Mr. President, sir, distinguished colleagues, the first step to take towards realizing this aspiration is to put in place a legal framework that will primarily aim at developing and encouraging the growth, manufacturing, processing, and marketing of tea and coffee across the country, with particular emphasis being placed on favorable and dark places with suitable climate and soil conditions that could be harnessed for commercial cultivation of tea and coffee. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, the National Tea and Coffee Development Council Bill 2019, which is already before the Senate, seeks to, amongst other authors, establish an authority that will saddle with the responsibility of assisting farmers to set up outgrowers, tea and coffee factories, and provide some with ready 
training in the latest and copy te technology, as well as supply agricultural inputs in aid of tea and coffee growth and production in Nigeria. Mr. President, sir, the Council, instead of direct investments by entrepreneurs in the current dispensation, will provide the enabling environment for farmers to imbibe the tea and coffee growing as smallholder outgrowers so as to pull them together to set up full entrepreneurship and ultimately own tea and coffee factories in the value chain. The Council will be the catalyst for tea and coffee growth and development by providing technical, managerial and horticultural extension services, among other things. Mr. President, sir, the above bill also seeks to confer on the National Tea and Coffee Development Authority powers to access funding from surcharges on importation of coffee and tea and credit and other funding assistance from local uh, multilaterals or international organizations to tea and coffee farmers and also tea and coffee factories. It is expected that with the establishment of the Council under this bill, a new era of reinvigorated tea and coffee production in Nigeria will be enthroned. Mr. President, sir, the tremendous benefits this will have on the local economy of tea and coffee producing areas, employment generation and by extension development of other productive sectors such as tourism and wildlife conservation is better imagined. I therefore implore all the distinguished senators to embrace the underlying principles of uh, National Tea Development Agency Bill which is directed at improving the future of our local farmers, aiming at repositioning our economy and transforming them into a diversified and productive agriculturally based economy in line with the current administration economic policy. Only this, Mr. President, sir, I strongly believe has the solution to Nigeria's overdependence on oil earnings. The bill is structured into six parts with uh, 24 sessions, part one, session one to five, part two, session six to nine, part three, sessions 10 to 11, uh, part four, session 12 to 17, and part five, session 19 to 23, part six, session 24. Mr. President, sir, distinguished colleague, I urge you all to support the second reading of this bill. I so move. Senator Sumatadi. Rise to support this bill. In supporting this bill, Mr. President, I want to put on record that this is perhaps the third bill or fourth bill that is aimed at pointing to us the need to diversify our economy. Looking at some North African countries and uh, Central uh, East Africa, what they earn from sales of well packaging of the tea products and coffee. In this country, we have since forgotten that there was a time in the history of our nation that granite, cocoa, coffee were the main thing of our economy. They were since have been abandoned due to the oil boom. The reality staring out at our faces in this generation is the need for us to start thinking of how to diversify our economy. More importantly, now that the world is talking about renew renewable energy, no uh, less for a lot of campaign on climate change, all these are uh, issues pointing to the nations like Nigeria, that is a mono economy of the need for us to diversify and look at other means of generating foreign exchange. And I think, Mr. President, any bill that is aimed at providing job opportunities for our team unemployed, educated, highly enterprising youth, I think it deserves all our support. This bill should be giving all the support that is required. 
And I think more so, more importantly too, is for this bill to be passed into law. We have a large army of unemployed youth, and we have resources apart from oil that are good enough to sustain our economy. Indeed, more than the oil sector. Just yesterday, Mr. President, somebody was telling me that a barrel of honey is far more expensive than a barrel of crude oil. There are so many resources that we have not tapped in our nation. Like I said a few days ago, tuba of yam, I mean, yam production, Mr. President. Ghana produces 15% of, 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 of tuba yam in the world. 5% of this uh, uh, tuba yam comes from Nigeria. Nigeria is the highest producer of tuba yam in the world, but we earn no one dollar from it. So, Mr. President, this bill deserves our support. It's a bill that will help to, generate, to improve our foreign exchange earning. It will provide job opportunity, and above all, we'll be able to compete uh, in the global economy of tea and coffee. And I think, too, Mr. President, it's not out of place to put on record that the first 25-story building in Nigeria, which was constructed in the Badon, was produced, uh, came from the foreign exchange of uh, coffee, I mean, cocoa. So, so I think we must do all that we can. When granite, uh, granite was selling, when we were producing granite in the north, Kanji Dam was part of the um, effort of Lesa Dana of Sokoto, which came from granite. There are many things we have forgotten in this country. On the office, who knew that Zamfara? is blessed with gold. So, Mr. President, any bill that we provide job, that we expose our potentials, that we improve those potentials we have abandoned, I think we should all support. So, distinguished colleagues, I so submit, Mr. President. The uh, need to be guided. This is a very important bill. Def definitely no doubt about that. But we have, we have the SNIT rule book, which guides everything that we do here. Unfortunately, I don't intend to kill this bill at all, never. Very far, Yusuf is my friend and the bill is good. 77-3, Mr. President. 77-3. No. No, please, just address the chair. Thank you, Mr. President. A compendium of background information and financial implications shall, shall accompany every bill. The word, the operating word there is not will. It's not will. Shall. S-H-A-L-L. -L. That is compulsory. Let us know why debating this bill, the financial implications of setting up this council. It's very, very important, Mr. President. This is our rules book. And so many of the bills that are coming here, they fall short of this particular provision. And the provision is there, compulsorily. So I just want Sine to be guided, Mr. President. So where do we go from here with this good bill without the financial implication? We go back Thank you. Okay. Um, let me suggest where we will go. <laughs> because as all of us have admitted, including you, that the diversification of our economy is so essential and central to the sustainability of our economy, creating employment opportunities, creating wealth, that such areas of tea and coffee production, processing and marketing will help us achieve the desired outcome. I believe that this bill can go to the next stage of public hearing if we all accept to pass it uh, for the second reading. And before then, the sponsor of the bill can bring the compendium, financial compendium you have pointed out. 
I will therefore urge us not to throw the baby with bath water. That is my understanding. So I will put the question if there is nobody against the bill. Those in favor that the bill be now read a second time, say aye. aye. Those against, say nay. The ayes have it. Clerk of the Senate. A bill for an act to provide for the establishment of, na of the National Tea and Coffee Development Council to develop and promote growing production and marketing of tea and coffee in Nigeria and for other matters connected there with 2020 second reading taken and the bill is referred to the Committee on Agriculture and Rural Development to report back within four weeks. Thank you very much, distinguished colleagues. And just like I've said, this is a very important bill. We have very mighty, massive land where we can produce tea, where we can produce coffee. If we utilize and harness such environments, we can help in diversifying the Nigerian economy. So I believe that uh, we need to do everything. And of course, there is already some fund. The Natural Resources Development Fund is supposed to support such uh, enterprises of diversifying the economy through the real sectors, agriculture, solid minerals development, and so on and so forth. So I, I believe that we, 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 have, uh, we have a way of ensuring that this uh, bill and subsequent other bills that even Senator James Manager will bring in the area of agriculture and so on would definitely help uh, improve and sustain our economy. Thank you very much. Leader of the Senate. So